Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. Is right here? No, come on. Is right here? Yes, yes. All right, we're starting uh, another day of vlogging. So we're going to head out. We're finally getting some snow, which is a treat. And everyone's loading up. What are you guys doing? Ice fishing. Play hard. Going back. Ice We got just a lot of a lot of everything going on. Joseph, stop it. Joe, stop. Amber does not want that. Stop. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. I don't think she wants you doing that to her car right now. No. That's not nice. Come on. Let's put that away. Okay. Yep. All right, we're back in action. Ward and I had to run back to get a camera battery and a couple shovels because we are ice fishing and playing hockey. Will that turn off? Yeah, that And um, and ice skating. Did I say all those things? So anyway, and as Amber and Tony say, I am dripping. <laughs> I don't really know what that exactly means other than I guess you got new new cool clothes so I'm wearing my new Christmas stuff got a hat from Warren super warm fuzzy mittens and these super warm they are like for the Arctic I'm telling you um, snow pants so striker I am, ice striker that's what they are yep ice fishing mitts okay so that brand must mean something to the ice fishermen I didn't know it as anything but anyway, that's what I've got going. So Warren. I'm wearing my free hat. Your free hat. <laughs> Bought a hat and got a. Bought a hat and got a chainsaw. Got a chainsaw with it. <laughs> so, all right, and it's definitely snowing today. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can give you guys a little look over the marsh here. This morning it said that we were going to have some snow showers with possible slippery roads and I guess we're getting more than snow showers in my book. Warren's got the water up on the cranberry beds. He's been working at making ice. I'm going to turn it on you and let you give us a little rundown. I've been making ice. <laughs> That's what I just said. Yep. I'm you got anything more to tell us about that? So, I mean, I know why you're making ice, but nobody else knows why. I don't know. Okay, so he has to make ice over the cranberry beds because the winter winds will freeze dry the tips, and so the ice protects the cranberries because they're a perennial. Am I, yep. am I right? Yep. Okay, and then he also is getting some beds ready for sanding, correct? Yep. How many inches of ice? I need 12. And you have so far? Probably six. Okay. So it'll be like a series of flooding the beds. Then you allow the like low temps to do its job, make some ice, and then after so many days, how many? Well, you don't want to hold the water longer than seven to ten days because of uh, as that water sits, it loses oxygen, and if your water becomes oxygen deficient, it can damage the cranberry vines. Okay, so, so about seven to ten days, then you pull the water, and it all depends on temperature and stuff like that too, right. but you'll pull the water, whatever didn't freeze, mm -hmm. then that ice will actually settle onto the cranberry vines. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the camera here. So then that ice will actually settle on the cranberry vines. And then the next time that he floods, it'll go over the ice, right? It won't lift the ice, will it? Right. After you pull the water out, yep. uh, the ice will actually bond to the ground. And then when you put on your reflow, it'll actually go over top of the ice and you'll make another layer. Yep. And so he kind of does that over and over throughout the winter until he has enough ice for sanding. Is this the second time already? Uh, well, the, see, the first time. The first time was just a base flow, just to get the initial ice started. So I guess, I guess you could call it the second flooding. But this is the first time where I went and flooded deep. Okay. So. Okay. So yeah. 
yeah, so that's what's going on. And um, it's a Sunday, just for reference. It is December 27th. And what else can we say? We had a great Christmas. And I hope that you guys all had a great Christmas too. I should mention that if you are new to our channel, um, I do a lot of food and homeschooling, Down syndrome awareness. We do, I do um, show a lot, I guess, or some of cranberry farming. And, um, and YouTube took my comments away a long, long time ago. So if you do wanna leave a comment for me, you're either gonna have to email me, which that is in the description box. Otherwise, you'll have to hop on over to the community tab and that's where you can leave comments or questions or complaints, <laughs> whatever it is you want. So, all right, we are here. We are back and wow, Amber is going. She's pretty fast on skates. I guess so. catch a fish. Good. I can't wait. No, I won't. You yes. won't? <laughs> nice skating, Maria. set up and see if we can catch the only thing in here are largemouth bass crappies perch and bluegills so we're basically going to try to catch a bass on the tip up and then we'll jig with some Just wax a minute, worms Peter. and hopefully catch some bluegills and perch maybe crappie we'll uh -huh. see. and we're using the trusty hot dog trick you got it that's going to be for the bass right yes and then did you say that we have wax worms for the yep. to catch crappies or something? Yep. Okay. I've got the ice fishing snow pants. I just don't have the ice fishing knowledge. <laughs> yes, Peter. You have a problem with your boot? Yeah. You gotta be a vlog star. Come on, Eska. Come on. Look, she turns around. She's like, oh, she just slipped. <laughs> I'm sick of standing in line at the clubs I never get. <laughs> Oh, that's that's different song. Sorry. <laughs> I want to be a rock that's star. That's a rock star, not a vlog star. <laughs> oh, my mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh, Eska didn't want anything to do with being on camera. No. Well, you know, we're not all vlog stars like you. Oh, you know? stop it. <laughs> Sometimes I just want it quiet. You just want it quiet. I don't have to talk. I don't want to have to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> Like, if you can't get it through pictures, I can't help you. <laughs> oh, how did I end up with you? <laughs> Do you want the long version or the short version? <laughs> oh, go. The old Oscar Mayer. Actually, these are the cheap knockoff ones. I was going to say, these are no Oscar, Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer are way too expensive for our taste. <laughs> for the fish. Yeah, no kidding. So you just sink two trebles in it. You want it to hang horizontal. So it looks... So it looks like, like a dead minnow. Believe it or not, the fish think that's a dead minnow. So fish it are... works really well. I, I'm not kidding. It does. We've caught lots and lots of fish. We've caught a lot of fish on hot dogs. Usually the biggest fish on hot dogs, too. Yep, usually. How you doing, Maria? Good. Do you want me to zip up your coat for you? Oh, I just unzipped it. Oh, are you hot? My back is sweaty. Oh, that's good. Means you're having fun. I'm not having fun. You're not? <laughs> I'm slipping really? every which way. I know, and it's very slippery ice today. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> That was me! <laughs> 
What, Joe? Love you. What? Love you, girl. Love you. I'm right there. I'm so good. Okay, just a sec. We're just going to fight this. Yeah, I don't know if the camera is, can touch it, but we can actually see the total bottom. Yep. I can see the rocks. Thank yeah, you. I think the camera's get getting it. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> this is some words to describe hot dogs. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to pack things up here. This is looking empty here. All the big kids wanted to go home. So they went back where they're going. We're just not catching a thing, so we are going to head back home, see what kind of food we can find. So our day is just sort of uh, yeah, just kind of moving along here. It's already 6.15. I did some editing. I had three things that had to be shipped back from Christmas. And so I actually got, well, I got two of the packing slips printed. The other one, they were going to email me, they said, within 30 minutes. So I'll have to check my email and then print that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, too, something really exciting that came in my, um, well, it came in, I guess, my P.O. box, but my mailbox. And that is this, the Country Love box. So let me open this up. The Country Love Box is similar in some ways to a lot of the different subscription boxes that are out there right now. Um, this one is just specifically uh, curated for country women. And so first off, a thank you note. And then there's a little Christmas card in here. And it says, I thought this was very cute, Yuletide greeting. <laughs> and... Um, Jen is the person who started this. She was just really liked the different styles of subscription boxes and wanted something special to come, you know, for herself, but found that nothing was just quite right. And so anyway, she put together her own. So every single month you always get what is the um, like candle scent of the month. In this month it was Winter Hug, which smells so good. It really smells good. It's kind of like cinnamon and vanilla and some of those candles that kind of smell like like they'll be like snow or something like that whatever snow smells like anyway it smells so good and this is from the company Coyer Candle Company right out of Michigan and this is Tuesday Tables a felted soap so as you wash your hands the wool felt continues to shrink and um, yeah I've used some felted products years and years and years ago and really really cool so anyway that is something fun Joe has joined us and then also a little Mom. cookie cutter look at that what is that animal Joe can you tell I don't know. What is that animal? It's a pig. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to tell off. Sam. Okay, everything's happening here it's at once now. Off. So anyway, it's a little pig cookie cutter. So I look forward to making some cutouts. Gosh, not for a while. <laughs> we did a lot of cook baking for uh, Christmas cookies and stuff like that. And then some of these uh, cinnamon roasted almonds always always delicious you know what i told amber we were going to open this up for christmas eve snacking and i forgot so anyway we'll have to do this tonight when the packer game is on this hat is so cute lib new york it's the company um very i would say this is a very very country-ish i love the buffalo plaid anyway totally totally lined with fleece super cute that's going to look really great with my carhartt jacket i did get a new hat you guys saw it before i got a new hat from warren for christmas and that looks really really well i guess i had it on today with my carhartt but it looks really nice with um like a little bit more of my dressy coat that i would wear to town more often and so i think i'll save this one to wear with my carhartt when i'm just like outside and doing the country thing okay so we have some of those spicy chicken sandwiches I accidentally got the spicy ones um, 
but a, like a week or two ago already, I thought I'm gonna pick up some of those just for a night like this when we want something really quick. We ate up a good portion of the leftovers at lunch today. Um, we had some leftover hug and kiss soup and I don't even remember what else, but we just ate up some of the different leftovers. Hunk. 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 You're a hunk. Hunk. You're a hunk. Yeah, hunk. Look at you. Hunk. Mwah. Hunk. Sam got things hunk. going. That's it. Some chicken patties. These are the spicy ones. We all agreed that we actually really, really like Don't Touch. They're hot. They're really good. Everyone except Maria. Well, not Maria, right. And then he washed up some lettuce for us and he... um. Thawed some buns. New toys, That's okay. Mom. I knew that we didn't have much for lettuce, but and I thought at least toy. a little bit. We're going to put out some mayo, and I might even have a tomato new that I'm going to Hey, Peter, set. Maria, set the table. And we're going to make some chicken sandwiches here for supper tonight before the Packer game. All right, so since I got, like, called in. Yep, he'll be eating here. Since I got called in here to um, kind of help finish up supper here. I forgot to tell you that with the Country Love box, I will have a, just, uh, a link in the description box below and you can check those out. I think it would make a great gift to send off to some uh, country woman as well. They're about $40 for a month. Just check the link if you're interested. Hunk. Is this a cucumber? Oh, cucumbers, yes. Good night, Joe. Great. Oh, you got your harmonica. Nice, you gonna play a tune for Peter? Yeah. yeah, that'll be nice. I love your jammies. These are his new Christmas jammies that he got. Well, they're not Thank Christmas, you. but he got them for Christmas. I love the pockets. Do you like the pockets? Nope. You don't like the pockets? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Good night. Bless me, Jesus. Make me a good boy. I love you so much. Good night, Emma. Good night, Peter. Good night. I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, you're so funny.